Today I'd like to show you how to connect and load the tape onto a negator motor inside the gauge head. We start this procedure with the float at zero level, an empty tank. The tape has been fed through the conduit and the gauge head and it has been cut so that we have about six feet of excess tape below the level at which the gauge head will be mounted. Before we demonstrate, let's put on some gloves. Let's look at some of the components first. We have the tape, the sprocket, the negator motor, the tape storage sheave, the sheave pin, and the hand crank. First, attach the crank to the tape storage sheave. Loosen the thumb screw, then wind the storage sheave clockwise. The number of turns required is dependent on the height of your tank. Refer to the manual for the exact number, but it's about 45 turns for a 60 foot tank. Take care not to overwind the negator motor. Winding the motor greater than the indicated number of turns may cause the motor to dislodge and uncoil from its pulley. You should also use both hands with a firm grasp on the crank while winding the motor. Securely tighten the thumb screw when you finish turning. You don't want the sheave to unwind and this crank to spin as you're working. Now take the end of the tape, making sure it is not twisted, and place the first hole on the pin of the sprocket close to the tape guide. One technique to keep the tape from being twisted is to grab the tape with your index finger and thumb and slide it down to the end of the tape. This makes sure that the right side of the tape is inserted into the sprocket wheel. Rotate the sprocket clockwise to pull the tape through the guide and pull the tape around the storage sheave, guiding the tape as you go. Fasten the fourth hole in the tape to the stored sheave on the sheave pin. We're now ready to take up the slack in the tape, so hold the installation crank firmly and loosen the thumb screw. Wind the excess tape counterclockwise around the storage sheave until all slack is removed. Again, check the tape path to be sure that it is not kinked or twisted. Be sure to remove the installation crank screw once all the tape is wound onto the sheave. Put them in a storage area for safekeeping and for future use. You can now move on to the next step of your installation.